Magnetic resonance imaging machines, the so-called MRI scanners, have been a valuable tool since the 1980s, but could only show static pictures. This year, researchers at the University of California, Davis, reported they have developed a way to capture moving images of body parts. Orthopedic surgeon Robert Sabo is already using the scanner, called active MRI. We can understand why one person develops an unstable wrist, why one person has pain and wears out the joint surface on one area of the wrist, and what we can do to replace, uh, make better products, or, or even do soft tissue corrections to improve that patient's life. Severe spinal cord injuries usually lead to total loss of control of lower extremities, as well as bladder, bowel, and sexual functions. Scientists at the University of Louisville, Kentucky, used implanted electrical devices to help patients regain at least some of those functions. Dr. Roderick Pettigrew of the National Institutes of Health says a spinal cord injury may no longer mean lifelong paralysis. What we see today with these four individuals now being able to have voluntary motion and voluntary control of their limbs and involuntary control of functions like bladder and bowel is very exciting. It is a milestone. Researchers at Chalmers University of Technology in Göteborg, Sweden, also continued to develop brain implants for prosthetic devices that behave and feel sensation just like real arms and hands. And Medtronic Corporation in the U.S. used electrical brain stimulation to relieve symptoms of Parkinson's disease. Patient David Dusnap says before the implants, he couldn't take even a short walk. This gave my life back. This, this procedure has been just amazing for me. Uh, without seeing me before, you don't really understand what it was like. Um, I couldn't use my, the left side of my body was completely... I couldn't use it, really. This year, scientists also came closer to fulfilling the promise that stem cells may someday help regenerate damaged tissue. Scientists at the University of Pittsburgh School of Medicine reported that some of their severely injured patients grew new muscle tissue with the help of stem cells growing on a matrix made of pig's bladder. 3D printers also proved this year to be useful in medicine. Chinese doctors printed a replacement vertebra for a severely injured teenager. Beijing University Orthopedics head Dr. Liu Zhongjun, who led the surgical team, says 3D printing is a huge advantage for artificial implants. We can use iconographic tests on patients, such as a CT scan, converting CT data to 3D printing data in order to produce an internal fixation with exactly the same structure as a patient's bone structure. With all the promising developments in medical technology this year, 2015 may bring even more breakthroughs in this important field. George Putich, VOA News, Washington.